Okay. Let me address this. Okay. I'm seeing people talk about that. They're literally talking about a potential matchup between Javante Davis and Monster Inui. This is becoming a trending topic. A lot of people's talking about it. You have anti-black boxing fans disrespecting Floyd Mayweather because of what he said about what what would need to be done if that matchup were to have happened, right? And this is why I'm making this video is because of the disrespect towards Floyd Mayweather, okay? Now, let's be honest with ourselves. You guys know good and goddamn well if Javante Davis and Monster Inui fights and Javante Davis sends that man to the upper room, you haters on here will not give Javante Davis any credit at all. So why are you even entertaining that? You know, it, it, it's crazy, but then it's not. Because what I'm seeing is what already had happened. Manny Pacquiao was this form fighter that a lot of people were starting to take notice of. And the moment Manny Pacquiao tied his name to Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao became a star in America. You know why? Because he gave fans that hated Floyd Mayweather hope. He was a guy that gave fans that hated Floyd Mayweather hope. That's why Manny Pacquiao became a star in America because of the hope that he gave fans that hated Floyd Mayweather. And this is the same thing that's happening with Javante Davis and Monster Inouye. You have Javante Davis haters attaching Monster Inouye's name to Javante Davis' name. And Monster Inouye and his team are allowing this because they understand that they can build a name for themselves in America based off of hope. Monster Inouye just moved up to the Super Bantamweight division. Javante Davis has already fought at the Junior Welterweight division. There's a huge size difference between the two. So why are you guys even entertaining that crap? Monster Nui has to go through the featherweight division and the super featherweight division before even considering a Javante Davis fight. Remind you, he just moved up to the super bantamweight division and you guys are already talking about him fighting Javante Davis. Why? Why? You know good and goddamn well that you're not going to give Javante Davis any credit at all when he sends Monster Nui to the upper row. You guys are going to disrespect that man. You disrespected him when he fought Leo Santa Cruz. You said that he, he he was too big for Leo Santa Cruz, even though he came down to fight Leo Santa Cruz. Leo Santa Cruz was a taller fighter. He was a longer fighter. Something that you guys are claiming Jamel has over Canelo Alvarez to justify Canelo Alvarez pulling up Jamel Charlo. Leo Santa Cruz was taller and he was longer than uh, Javante Davis. But you guys still looked at the size. You didn't care about height and length when it came to Javante Davis and Leo Santa Cruz. But with Jamel and Canelo, that's all what you guys are talking about, height and length instead of the weight. So if Javante Davis and Monster Inouye fight each other and Javante Davis sends his man to the upper room, you guys are going to disrespect Javante Davis and you know it. So why are you even talking about it? I've seen this play before and I know it because I recognize it. Javante Davis is the front gate for Monster Inouye to enter America. And that's why Monster Inouye and his team are attaching themselves to Javante Davis' name. Javante Davis is that front gate for Monster Inouye and his team to enter into America. And that is the next play. 